Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. On our media line right now is Quentin Robertson, Parks and Recreation Superintendent for the City of Reedsville. Hey, Quentin, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mike. How are you? I'm doing just great. You're not in your office. You're out uh, checking uh, checking around, seeing how the snow looks on some of the trails at the parks, huh? That is correct. Yeah, I was just walking around checking on some of the facilities. You know, a lot of the ice that gets on the trees gets a little heavier, so it's fall down on some of the trails. So we wanted to make sure that... You know, everything is still clear once the snow melts and we don't have any issues later. Sure. I bet it's, uh, we didn't have a lot of snow, but just enough to be pretty and not cause any real problems and looks good on some of those uh, some of those trails around the city, I bet, doesn't it? It does, it does. It's nice and beautiful. Hopefully it's good to look at, but it'll be gone pretty soon here. Yeah, I believe you're right. Well, let's talk about what's going on at Lake Reedsville and some of the things happening there. Bring us up to date, Quentin. Yeah, we're actually all, almost finished with our projects out there, so the campground should be open very soon. We're taking now, we're taking reservations. Are you interested in, in camping out or coming to our campgrounds here now in the future? But uh, we still, everything is still open. You still reservation. You still come out there and rent the kayaks and uh, put your boat in the water and uh, use some of the shelters there for some of the activities that you might have, birthday parties and that, that nature. But uh, other than that, sir, you know, we got the store open. Duck hunting season is still available. It, 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 it's almost over here in mid-February, but uh, we're just looking forward to, you know, the springtime here so we can kind of open up, hopefully, and get everybody back in the campground and have the programs going on out there again. Yeah. Well, uh, we've had some nice days. So I know people are, recently, so I know people are getting anxious to get out and, and enjoy all the things uh, that you have to offer with uh, Parks and Rec. Let's talk about... Um, uh, shelters and tennis courts and, and, and some of the other things that are going on, the parks and, and, and activities that are happening now, Quentin? Right. So right now we're, we're still using our outside facilities are always open. Uh, the parks and all, all eight of our areas are open, the playgrounds there. Um, some of the activities that we're going to hope to bring for in the future here um, uh, have our sports calendar where we're going to try to register have uh, registered and open some, um, you know, some of the sporting activities soon. But um, the lakes, the trails, um, you know, everything that's Lake Hunt, Lake Reesville, all those activities, kayaking, biking, mountain bike, my, um, mountain bike riding, um, canoeing, this golf is, is all available. And pickleball, we also have the outside pickleball area at J.C. Park that is still available. It's open as well to the public. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can get out now and enjoy all of these things. Yeah, I know. I wish to you, you know, as soon as it warms up in the springs, there's a, a lot of activities outside that we can kind of be involved with and kind of control to make sure that we keep everybody safe and, and protected. Yeah. Well, I know Zumba is uh, still popular, and you're having Zumba classes on the, uh, uh, the J.C. Uh, tennis courts. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, Right now, we're, since it's been a little cooler, we've kind of slowed down here. But back in the spring, yes, we have used those outside facilities, not only for tennis or pickleball, but to, to do some kind of fitness activities and fitness classes. Uh, we're looking forward to it in the springtime, you know, definitely hold some outside fitness classes once again so we can kind of continue to, to keep a healthy community of population to, to join in. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, I know you've got some good news. Tell us about someone new with Parks and Rec. Oh, great, yes. So uh, we had the opportunity to um, interview a candidate. Her name is Remy Epps, and she will be coming from um, Greensboro Parks and Recreation Division. Uh, she is a lake specialist, so we're excited to have her um, join our team as the new recreation program supervisor. Um, we're looking excited about some of the opportunities that she's had in Greensboro that hopefully she's definitely going to be bringing to to the, uh, to the Lake Reeseville and the Parks and Recreation Division here. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to her to meet, you know, our community of people and, and bring some of those, um, you know, great ideas and marketing strategies that she has worked on before um, to our great city of Reeseville. Oh, that's exciting. So uh, from what you're saying, then, Remy uh, is a lake activity specialist um, and does a lot with outdoor adventure rec- uh, education. So never really had someone in that uh, position before have we no no exactly I, like we understand that the lake is a great great 
atmosphere, and we want to make sure that we have some great programs involved there. And uh, along with our duck hunt season and some of the the disc the disc golf tournaments that we host there, so um, so we can brainstorm and see, you know, what is it that you know, what can we offer as a great city of Rizzo or Lake Rizzo? What can we offer to the city um, to our community? Different programs. When you come out there, you might want to, you know, camp for the weekend. But we're also going to have programs in place for you know, your grandkids or other individuals that might be out there camping as long. Mm-hmm, sure. Well, when do we hope uh, Remy will get started? Well, her begin date will be 1st of February. Um, and she has to go through her orientation. And once all of that is complete, we will be working on some new uh, virtual reality programming, hoping to get that set up as well, and some virtual e-game sports um, some activities of that nature as well. Okay, well, we wish Remy all the best. That's exciting. Okay, uh, well, let's Thank jump you. right into that. You just kind of set us up for that about um, uh, sport and uh, virtual programs. It seems uh, it's, this is something I don't know a lot about, so uh, I need a little education here, uh, Quentin. Okay. All right, so uh, virtual programs, we understand that, you know, a lot of the kids now are uh, virtual learning. Uh, so eSports is a big gaming um um, industry, uh, I like to say it called, um, and a lot of kids definitely like to play video games such as Fortnite, um, you have Halo, you have Madden, you have these 2K games, so what we're trying to try to do is start setting up these virtual competitions where uh, we can use some type of camera phone virtual programming where you can face off with another buddy. Um, they PS3s and some of these newer game technology games, you're able to connect with people all across the world um, to compete on a video game against one another. So we're going to try to tap into some of those activities and maybe have some different activities as far as, you know, your local um, kids here, um, high school kids, high school to high school. Or see how we can kind of settle some of those great tournaments here. You know? mm-hmm. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, well, you're tapping, in, you're tapping into the young people that way for sure. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Okay. Is that something? Are you in? Are you into that some way? I guess you got to be somewhat knowledgeable to be able to put that program together. But that's something you enjoy. <laughs> uh, that is something. I, I'm not a big gamer, but I, I, have, I do play games. But uh, it's something that we have used in the, in the past in state programs um, on the universities with um, dorm to dorm activity. But um, we're just thinking outside the box right now. You know, we, we have we understand that COVID is there. We just want to practice social distancing, but we also want to give an outlet to the kids. And you know, every kid may not be a, a complete athlete or want to uh, play baseball or basketball or football, but you know, some of those kids are very good at games and, and have a very good skill set at what they do. So sure. we want to tap in and have some fun with that as well. Yeah. All right. Now that's terrific. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I know you're you're on the job. Uh, anything else uh, we need to talk about before we finish up, Quentin? Well, uh, we're just looking excited. I think we're going to be moving forward pretty soon with our, uh, the senior game uh, of North Carolina. If uh, everything opens up well with that, and the lake is still open, reservations are still open, and um, you know, hopefully the baseball and renovations of things around here will be completed very soon for the spring. And so we're, we're gearing up and we're looking forward to everybody registering with the um, City of Rizzo Parks and Recreation Department so we can um, continue to grow and continue to have an excited atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm excited for you for 2021. And, yeah, it'll be good to get back in those senior games this year, won't it? Yes. Okay. Well, Quentin, thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, always good to talk to you. I hope you have a great year at Reedsville Parks and Recreation. I'm on your Facebook page right now, so we'll send people there, Reedsville Parks and Recreation, and uh, keep up to date on what's going on. Thank you. Have a good week and a, a good year. We'll talk to you next month. I'll see you soon, Mike. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Quentin. Bye. That's Quentin Robertson. He is Reedsville Parks and Recreation Superintendent. And as you just heard, uh, lots of things uh, going on now, uh, but get, getting ready for uh, lots of activities in, in the spring and looking ahead to the full year when we get back on schedule, hopefully, with all of these things. Uh, Lake, uh, Lake Reedsville, Lake Hunt, uh, open now for uh, all the activities that Quentin was uh, mentioning there. And all the, isn't that exciting about those the uh, e-sports uh, things that uh, all the young people are involved in and Reedsville Parks and Recs uh, right in on that as well. 
So please check them out on Facebook, Reedsville Parks and Recreation. And, of course, you can always go to riseupreedsville.com, riseupreedsville.com, for more information about good things happening in the city of Reedsville. Our program today is sponsored by Strader's Shoe Store, Penrose Mall, Reedsville, where right now they're having a winter clearance, 20 to 40% off, select groups of shoes for boys and girls, men and women. You'll find some really cute pictures of the kids right there on their Facebook page now uh, at Strader's Shoe Store. And that's our program, and I'm Mike Moore. Thanks for tuning in.